The 2012 Undergraduate Research and Arts Colloquium kicked off with a bang at the Marshall Student Center. The event provided a venue for undergraduate students in all disciplines to present their current research and receive feedback from their research mentors, peers, and the greater USF community. Research projects ranged from artistic to scientific and included a spectrum of ideas inspiring conservation, innovation, and technology. This, to me, is a way to inform the people that we have had a huge impact on our wetlands and they are a very important and vital part of our community. Jacqueline DeLong, a psychology major with an interest in art history, constructed this wetland landscape using real plants on the three sides of a central processing unit of an old computer. A lot of people like it. I mean, it definitely attracts a lot of people to come over and look at it. And I noticed that a lot of people are like, what is this? Why, why, why is this? Which serves its purpose. Well, we found uh, that there were um, significant self-reported health differences by gender and by age. Courtney Wells is studying biology and gerontology, and her research group conducted a study in cancer pain management. The overarching theme of this whole study is to identify possible uh, additional factors such as social behavioral which will explain these disparities um, and these outcomes of pain and to promote um, more effective pain treatment and uh, overall care. Similar organisms live in the sediment between the saltwater estuary and the brackish estuary. William Carer Strauss, a senior in the biomedical sciences field, conducted a study of the microbial community surrounding the karst coastal regions. Site 3, the brackish estuary near the cave system, and the, and the spring, the freshwater spring, the completely isolated spring, showed groupings of 20% bio, biodiversity similarity. So that tells us that they must be connected somehow. So though they don't share the same source in the Gulf of Mexico, they're linking together underground. The cave systems are linking underground with the Florida aquifer. The annual event was sponsored by USF's Office for Research and Innovation as part of its ongoing Research One celebrations. For USF News, I'm Katie Hennig.